Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add a command button for your macro to the ribbon. Let's go to the Tools tab. Click on the Customize tool. Let's just scroll down and find our macro. You'll remember it's called My Underscore Macro, so it'll be with the M's near the end. Here we go. Let's select it. Now let's find a place to put it. Let's say the Model panel. Let's specify these options here. Large, we'll check it. Text as well, we'll check. And let's click Apply and Close. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new part document. Click Finish Sketch. And here in the User Commands panel is the button for our new macro. Let's close this document and go back to the Customize dialog window. From this drop down menu, let's select Part Model. Let's select our macro and click Remove. Apply and Close. And this concludes our tutorial about adding a macro button to the ribbon.